We've got an update for you tonight on the shop that caused quite the controversy in Clinton Hill back in March. News 12's Jordan Kassane was outside of the Romantic Depot where neighborhood residents and store managers say they've worked together to turn controversy into compromise. More in favor of uh, having us stay and we will stay, but we will be humble and respectful to the community and work with the community uh, groups to make them feel comfortable. After the shop's February grant opening, the Clinton Hill community was up in arms, saying that the shop was too close to schools and religious establishments to be legal. But because the Romantic Depot was registered as a retail store rather than an adult store, owners of the shop and the community were forced to find common ground. We can all be on one accord and we can all try to unite on an issue of being in the same community with one another. After months of meetings and what they call bridging the gap, residents here tell us that the Romantic Depot has gone from controversy to compromise. The goal is to be able to work with people that have every right to be here. So we said, we'll work with you, but we need this and that and, and these things. And they agreed to do so. Social justice advocate Kevin McCall telling our crews that the shop took measures like changing their signage from phrases like luxury toys to health and education. They also installed security cameras in an effort to support businesses surrounding theirs and even did away with blinking signage so as not to attract young children. We had concerns that did get addressed and we're moving forward in the, in the spirit of unity. Management at Romantic Depot, along with locals and the 88th Precinct, plan to meet three times yearly to ensure they are all on the same page. In Clinton Hill, Jordan Kissane, News 12.